You might have heard that Orlando doesn't have a lot to offer when it comes to food. As a chef and an avid traveler, I beg to differ. We're in the Milk District right now? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. This is a really cool, hip part of town. Yeah. It is. It's super trendy. You got a like a diversity is pretty large here, as far as you know, like different foods, cultures, people. You know, it's. I mean, I love it here. It's awesome. And you started. You started here, right? Yeah. We used to do this two and a half years ago, two years ago, and then we stopped about a year ago because we opened a little shop down the street, and we. I used to park right here, and it was awesome. So this brings back like memories. I'm super grateful, you know, for this for this event. It was. It's great. You know, it's fun. So well, let's yeah. go and eat so, some food. Let's go. I want to meet your friends. Right here. March 31st, 2011, I put on Orlando's very first ever food truck event. Whoa. And thousands of people came, and we only had eight trucks at the time, and it was like this massive event. And then I started doing it once a month, uh, and we've been going for seven years now. We're in like wow. 10 cities around Central Florida. Mm -hmm. And it really put food trucks in front of people who had never seen this type of truck before. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been told by multiple food truck owners that they came to Food Truck Bazaar, saw the success of the trucks and how the guests were excited by the food and saw the quality of the food and then decided to uh, open a truck themselves. That's inspiring. It was super cool to have that little bit of influence in that industry. What inspired you to do that in the first place? So what I was doing before Food Truck Bazaar, I was taking my readers of my blog, I have a blog, mm -hmm. everybody has a blog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I like take my readers to one food truck a month. It was called Taco Truck Taste Test. Oh. And the motto was we meet, we eat, we retreat. Because I would take people into uh, sort of enclaves where there were like ethnic food trucks, mm -hmm. specifically Latin. There's a lot of Latin food trucks across, yeah, makes sense across here. Orlando right, yes. um, on OBT and Cimarron. And we would go to one truck and no one would know what they were doing. The menu would be in Spanish. Uh, no one would speak Spanish. We, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we would just experience this side of Orlando that we had n none of us had ever experienced before. And um, so we, I kept doing that and then someone Went, uh, someone came to one of those events and said, you should do what they're doing in Miami, which is these big food truck meetups. And I was events, like, I can't do yeah. that, I can't do that. But he, he said, oh yeah, you can, You're, shut up. So <laughs> we did the first one and um, and now, and now food look truck good. events are ubiquitous all around Central Florida. Neighborhoods put on food truck events. Well, thank you for, food. thank you. This is your, oh yeah, let's I mean, talk about the food. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, it's yeah. All about the food. So yeah. Let's, let's start with this one, fries with etouffee yeah, with over it. Yeah, with etouffee, I, I guess it's get in their there. version of a poutine, I guess, without yeah. the cheese, huh? Make sure I get oh, some broccoli. Oh, it looks Gollum's poutine. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? I just went in there. So that owner is from New Orleans. He's from New Orleans. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. He's a good guy. You've been known him for a while, no? Yeah, his, he it's started delicious. this cool. truck as a tribute to his brother who had recently passed away. He was a cook, mm -hmm. and they both were from New Orleans, so he wanted to do a truck in tribute to his brother. Well, that's really, really amazing. So, this did is you really try amazing. How was it? It's delicious. I can have a whole Sorry, plate full of that. Thank you. You're welcome. We're going to need those for yeah, sure. Really good. I'm actually really impressed. I'm not going to lie to you. I sit on a couch and eat that all night. Yeah, mm. for sure. It's definitely TV snacks. That, that was really, really good. That's wow. TV snacks, walking you know snacks, I mean? sitting <laughs> snacks, every kind of snack. Is that a mm -hmm. shrimp or there's it's crawfish. crawfish? Crawfish. Okay. And I'm not mm -hmm. normally I'm not crazy about crawfish, but this is really good. It got no grainy to it or nothing. You know what I mean? Mm. So mm. it's awesome. I'm actually really enjoying that. Wow. That is so good. Right. Okay. Before we just keep on eating this thing, elote. Wow, elote. I'm not eating that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how. Yeah. No. There you go, the pinky out if you can. I don't know. All there right. you go. All right, touch on this side. And that, that looks like queso fresco. That's got to be pretty good. And they put tahin. It looks like tahin on the outside, right? Good. That's awesome. Yeah. It's good? Yeah, my best. It's awesome. Mm. Oh, so wait a minute. You had never had a tamale ever. That's true. There you go. That's so true. have it this. <laughs> you got the. That elote, though. Uh, oh. It's good, right? It's Super sweet. I told you the corn, right? It's beautiful. It's for, super fresh. No, you're straight. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Are, you, are you sure? No, you look. Let me see. I was surprised because when I eat it, it's just I look all like over I me just too. Made a snowball. Like a five-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like cheese everywhere. Okay. That's all. Okay. Very classic. All right. Yeah. I, I <laughs> That's really funny. That's good. Don't think I've had a tamale before. So a tamale. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to even explain it. I guess it's like a, some sort of like a corn cake. Like and corn is, the, in this case, this one is stuffed with what chicken? Yeah, chicken. Mm -hmm. It looks like a ranchero sauce, sunny side egg. Maybe some pico de gallo, 
then we got some refried beans. There, there's are really good. All right. <laughs> I, are you are you do waiting it. for me? Absolutely. No, no. Do it. That guy. How was that? Mm. Good. You see that corny flavor, a little bit sweet. Mm. Not too rich. You expect the rich, but it's. But really it's really light. hearty. You're gonna be hearty. Exactly. It's hearty. It sticks but to your ribs. It is. Sure. It is light, though. You know what I'm saying? It is light. So good. Oh yeah. Hello. The whole reason we're here. We're here because of what Andrew Zimmern said. I was having such a good time. And what? Exactly. You heard about what he said, right? Yeah. But you know what? We know what he said. But he's apologized, and he's he did. he's been back. He's been shooting shows. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. He, so he, he went around town, which was nice. Yeah. yeah. What do you feel about it? <clears throat> so um, he said something that was uh, a sentence, and then mm -hmm. what I loved was the response that he got um, was from our local food experts mm -hmm. and our foodies, who approached it in a extremely positive way. They did. It's true. It's All true. they did was start listing and tagging names of restaurants, names of food trucks, and say, oh, you have to try this, you have to try that. It's awesome. It was so positive. So not only did it show him that, like, we do have a great food scene, but also we're really kind. We're That's a nice city. I don't think we approached it any, you know. Exactly. We were like, yeah, get out of here. We were like, oh, no, 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 open the door. Come on. Exactly. You're like, come, come on, we want to show you if you, ha you obviously haven't seen. You know, that's a really good way to put it. Mm -hmm. We are a friendly town. We are a friendly we town. Are friendly <laughs> and town. I think the, the main thing is we, we want Andrew Zimmern to know, but we also want everyone else to know that Orlando is awesome and our food rocks. I've tried to move out of here at least five times. Dude, I'm here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and it's, 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 it's made, better. it is. It is, it's fun, it's fun. It's really easy in Orlando because we're a car-centric city and yes. a lot of us live in the suburbs yes. and a lot of the best food is not necessarily in the suburbs. A lot of it is, but a lot of it is kind of in the nooks and crannies. Yeah. And so Fox it's great that social media, our local social media folks are like reminding us about it with photos and, and even our locals, like all of us are taking photos of our food. It's true, oh, yeah. it's, true. it's true. We are, there are a lot of foodies here. You can there are a lot of foodies here. It's yeah. true, mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah. Do you want to try this one? Yes, 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 let's, let's try that one too. I mean, everything is so good. But we want to try everything. So this is brisket. Do you know where it's from? Can you tell? Caravan Barbecue. Ah, oh, oh, you're good. I spoiled it. My apologies. Let's go and get some Let's brisket. So this white sauce. Is yeah, it's a white barbecue sauce that I like. Mm -hmm. You know, their brisket. I think it's really good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I took a big bite. <laughs> Me too. Talk mm -hmm. amongst yourself. But it's delicious. I like this white sauce. It's really good. I love this white sauce. It's not heavy. Mm -hmm. but it's good smoke. It's not heavy. Mm -hmm. It's not salty like you find at places. Do you know what I mean? The bark, I think, is perfect. It melts in You your know, mouth. it does melt in your mouth and it's not dry and it's very, very tricky when you get to that level to get it right because it's almost to that point that it might be too much, but it's beautiful. I love it. It falls in, it falls in your mouth, you know. So, Orlando, it falls in your mouth. <laughs> There I we go. We that's actually it. pretty that's, funny. I think we got that's it. that's the one. You know. <laughs> that's actually so, pretty funny. <laughs> After seven years, uh, Orlando has has loved our food trucks in a parking lot. Right, that's mm -hmm. our thing. It is. We awesome. are now opening blocks away Ooh. a permanent food truck lot, mm -hmm. uh, a la carte. Mm -hmm. A la carte. So it's going to be yes. open seven yeah. days a week. That's going to be fun. Ooh. Seven days a week. It's going to have like four trucks, I think, or four, six trucks. Four, five. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking food trucks to so it's available seven days a week is something very new. Mm -hmm. It is. The reason that we we did that I did um, food truck events in parking lots is because. I wanted to avoid fights between food truck owners and the city because I'd read mm. a ton of articles about how food trucks were fighting for the right to be able to park on a on a sidewalk. Yeah. And I was like, well, we could just go in a parking lot and do it and do this event and not even ever have that issue. Any of that. And if you notice, there has never there was one time when the city made some rules mm -hmm. and but honestly those rules that the city made were like it was a blip. We do need to check out some more of the trucks. You're straight. We're gonna eat no, somewhere here. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay here and just like and just keep on going. Food, friends. <laughs> Why not? Exactly. Thank, thank you so just, much for talking. Thank you. This is such a pleasure. You thank your, you. Your program. Of course. This is such a pleasure, guys. Like thank you. Eat this.